Good morning, John. February was, uh, for me personally, for the world at large, a little rough, but also it was good. A lot of people started getting vaccines, including a lot of people that I know and love and care about. A mean, petulant, victimhood-based presidency was being quickly, maybe a little too quickly, forgotten which has been a relief. And then, unrelated to any of that, except that it persevered through it, the Perseverance rover landed safely and spectacularly on the surface of Mars. And like other cool stuff is happening too, like SpaceX is learning how to land a new rocket, you know, s slowly. And mRNA therapies are proving to be potentially useful beyond just this vaccine into a lot of different things that will improve human health and life. And as disastrous as this year has been for education, it has started to feel a little bit like a wake-up call that we don't need it to increase in cost dramatically every single year. That there might be other ways to do this without raising the barriers as high as they will go. It's possible that we're not going to learn anything from any of this, but my mood is elevated. It is good. And this may have something to do with the fact that, like, going into this winter, everyone in Montana who I knew was like, this is going to be very bad. And then, once we were in it, it was, but no one said anything. We just head down, went through it. Yes, it sucks outside and we can't go anywhere else inside except for our own homes safely, so we will just do it and not mention it. And now, it is nice outside. We have plenty of winter left, don't get me wrong, but spring is definitely coming and we're definitely on the other side. I'm starting to feel like what I'm experiencing isn't just hope, it's joy. I see spring and I know that it's coming and I'm not just talking about the weather. A piece of me. And a lot of, like, the world outside of me as well is kind of encouraging me not to feel this feeling. Some of that is definitely wise. Like, we don't know what the future holds. We should not let our guard down. There may yet be twists and turns in this thing. But some of it is a little bit self-indulgent. It's like my brain saying, but it could have gone so much better, but we didn't have to have it be this bad if only these people had done X, if only the government had done Y. And like, yes, absolutely, brain, you are correct. It didn't have to be this bad, but look. I kind of don't want to think about the winter during the spring. Learn from it? Yes. Whine about it? I don't think so. Like, I don't know who I serve by being mad at people who don't care that I am mad at them, who don't know that I'm mad at them. So I'm trying to let go of that. But then the last reason my mind is discouraging me from feeling good is just the reality of the injustice of this disaster, of future disasters, of the world in general, even absent pandemics or climate change or whatever, I worry and I wonder about the selfishness of the emotions that I'm feeling. So I've been thinking about what to do with that. And here's where I'm at right now. I don't know if it's where I'll be at tomorrow. I think instead of asking myself what emotion is appropriate right now, which seems like a, a labyrinth that I can enter and then never leave, I'm gonna try to ask, what am I feeling? Why am I feeling it? And is this an emotion that's gonna inspire uh, depression or complacence or like better action in the world. Positive impact on myself, my family, and the rest of everybody else. And if I feel like the feeling is going to improve things, for me and for the world, I'm not gonna ask myself to stop feeling it, even if it's a nice feeling. And I'll tell you, it's nice to feel nice feelings. That's where I'm at right now anyway. John, I'll see you on Tuesday.